Today, I'm giving my takes, whether it's potential cap casualties or performance-based players on the offensive side of the ball for the Minnesota Vikings. Stay, upgrade, or go. That's what we're talking about here today. We're going to start with Ole Udo. Under contract for next season, if released, you save $965,000 in cap. With a dead cap hit of $41,000, he absolutely needs to be cut. Even for depth purposes, he offers nothing to the table, beneficially speaking. Last year, he tied for first in the league in total penalties. You got Wyatt Davis bringing someone else for competition. Move on from there. Garrett Bradbury, he's in the last year of his rookie deal, so it doesn't necessarily make sense to cut him, but you need to make an upgrade here. Garrett Bradbury reminds me of myself in high school when I thought I was hot shit, betching 115 pounds. And then one day, I decided to work out with the varsity football team where everybody, all of those dudes, even the punter, the kicker, baseline, benched 225. And then it was my turn. All right, bro, let's see what you got. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling a little bit sick here. I need to go home. I wasn't in the same league as them. Garrett Bradbury just doesn't match up with starting defensive tackles. He's proven not to be an anchor worth a damn. He's a major liability in pass protection. You need a new starting center in 2022. Up next, Dalvin Cook. Performance not an issue here. Durability is, if he's not a Viking next year, it's going to be for the sole purpose of trading him to where you got a nice draft pick or two that makes it worth it. Expensive running backs just aren't going to be necessary in Kevin O'Connell's offense. That said, I'm neutral on what the Vikings, whatever they decide to do with Dalvin Cook. Up next, Tyler Conklin, unrestricted free agent this offseason, likely going to command in the ballpark of anywhere between five to six million dollars annually. He's going to be our tight end to next year if he was with the team because Irv Smith Jr., he's going to be healthy. You can find a backup tight end anywhere for much cheaper. Tyler Conklin is as good as gone. We're now going to move on to Adam Thielen, and I understand he's not getting any younger here. By the time that next season starts, he'll be 32 years old. Restructure, sure, but that should be the only option on the table. You absolutely keep Adam Thielen. One of the Top three most dangerous weapons in the red zone the last two years. Fantastic wide receiver, too. There's nothing to talk about. And now we get to Kirk Cousins, the elephant in the room that will not disappear this offseason until something official happens. Justin Jefferson having a monstrous start to his career, a new head coach that's going to bring some creativity to this offense. Doesn't matter. Throw it all away. Trade Kirk Cousins for someone like Baker Mayfield. Jimmy G some draft picks because we know for damn sure we're getting the next Patrick Mahomes in the 2023 draft. That is absolutely ludicrous. Now, if you get someone like Russell Wilson, then hey, we're good. Love the comparisons, by the way, to Matthew Stafford. They're nowhere on the same planet. What Matthew Stafford did for the Rams in 2021, Kirk Cousins was supposed to do for the Vikings in 2018. Because why? The Vikings, they went to the NFC Championship game the year before. The missing piece, right? Which, okay, the week before, you blew a 17-point lead, which you needed arguably the luckiest play in the history of this sport just to get by. You do that play another 99 times, Stefan Diggs, he gets tackled, and you get eliminated on the spot. But hey, they made the NFC Championship game, did they? Did they actually play in that game? Getting waxed by 31 points? That team was a quarterback away? Oh, okay, yeah. 2018 Vikings, 2021 Rams, totally the same. Let's compare those two situations, shall we? Offensive line, the Rams, 2021. Matthew Stafford had the second lowest pressure rate. That's pretty good. Kirk Cousins in 2018, 10th highest. Wow, no difference there. How about offensive coordinator, right? 2021, Matthew Stafford, his OC is now a head coach. Kirk's OC in 2018, got fired midseason, went to Jacksonville, got fired a year after that. In the last two years, he served as the quarterback's coach for the Chicago Bears, to which I say definitely the same situation. How about head coach, 2018 Mike Zimmer? In fact, I'll throw you a bone out there. Mike Zimmer, at any point in time in his career, compared to Sean McVay. Who's the better head coach, huh? 
Th this is this is so ridiculous. Oh my god. Matthew Stafford and Kirk Cousins, they're not the same player, but the situations 2018, 2021, those are the same. Got it. Your thoughts in the comments section below. By the way, this video is brought to you by Modest Brewing. Right now, they have 19 different flavors available. To which Tropical Fruited Sour has my name written all over it the next time I'm in the Twin Cities. For a chance to win a $25 gift card to Modest Brewing, go ahead and send a tweet with the hashtag Modest Take. Players on offense for the Minnesota Vikings. Who do you see staying, going, or in the case of a guy like Garrett Bradbury needing an upgrade? We're going to announce a winner, let's say, Monday, noon Central Standard Time. One person will be selected at random. Next video will be tomorrow. We'll see you then.